Good morning, folks. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. And welcome. Welcome to all the new subscribers also. Yesterday afternoon there in Missouri, there was a small earthquake. It occurred fairly close to Marston, Missouri, located in the center of the United States. The depth was 9.3 kilometers or 5.7 miles at 4.23 p.m. Sunday. Such small earthquakes are not often felt by people and typically do not cause damage. This earthquake was south of the city of New Madrid. The majority of earthquakes in Missouri are relatively small, often not felt by people. Concern for larger earthquakes Despite this, a potential for larger, more damaging earthquakes exist, especially given the history of significant quakes in the New Madrid seismic zone. Missouri does experience earthquakes, although they are generally less frequent and are generally less intense compared to states along the West Coast, such as California. Here are a few notable historic earthquakes that have occurred there in Missouri. The New Madrid earthquake, which is down over here, these listed. Let me bring this out for you. Between 1811 and 1812, the most significant earthquakes in Missouri's history were in the New Madrid earthquake, um, a series of intense seismic events that occurred between December 1811 and February 1812. These earthquakes were the largest to ever hit the contiguous United States with an estimated magnitude range between 7.5 to a 7.9. The earthquakes caused widespread damage, altering the flow of the Mississippi River. Here you can see the area of New Madrid. That was February 7th of 1912, uh, between a 7.4 and an 8.0. In 1904, there was a magnitude 5.4. I don't know if that's St. Genevieve or S-T-E Genevieve, but it's, let me show you, it's in the northern area of Missouri, uh, north from the New Madrid seismic zone. You can see I got other earthquakes listed here. It looks like the strongest was a magnitude 3.1. That was December fourth of uh, no December 18th of last year and it's not far from towards the east Hicks Dome this is an ancient volcano that a lot of people don't realize is there in the state this area is one of the earliest settlements there in the state of Missouri from people um, that relocated from Canada this 5.4 there in STE Geneva in southeastern Missouri. This event caused damage to buildings in the area and remains one of the stronger earthquakes in the state in modern times. In 1939, on November 9th, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.0 struck near East Prairie in southeastern Missouri. This event um, caused minor damage and was and was felt across several states. So I'll bring that out to show you its location in comparison to the New Madrid seismic zone. Right there. On October 21st, 1968, a moderate earthquake with a magnitude 5.5 occurred. This earthquake caused some damage to buildings and was also felt over a wide area. And I'll bring that out so you can see its location. That is north of the 1939 6.0 East Prairie earthquake. And then down over here, yeah, this is all the New Madrid seismic zone. Drawn out in red, we got the New Madrid seismic zone. Um, so here is the 1968 location, the 1939 location, and we got the Hickstone, that ancient volcano. While these are some of the more significant earthquakes that have occurred there in Missouri, 
The state does continue to experience small seismic events from time to time. The region remains seismically active due to the New Madrid Seismic Zone, which is a major seismic zone and one of the most active earthquake areas in the United States east of the Rocky Mountains. Missouri is not located near the edges of tectonic plates where most, most earthquakes occur. However, the state is still susceptible to seismic activity, particularly due to its proximity to the New Madrid Seismic Zone, or NMSZ. The earthquakes in Missouri, especially those in the New Madrid area, are primarily caused by ancient faults that release the stress within the Earth's crust. The New Madrid Seismic Zone is a major seismic region located in the center of the United States, encompassing parts of Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky. This zone is a series of deeply buried faults that are remnants to an ancient failed rift system, which I have often talked about in the past. And that actually goes all the way up and around Michigan. Yeah, you can see that here drawn out. Yeah, in Ohio, etc. These earthquakes of late have been caused by the reactivation of these ancient faults. I keep talking about how as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, we're going to see more and more earthquakes around the world. The faults in the New Madrid seismic zone were formed hundreds of millions of years ago during the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea. While the region is no longer actively spreading apart, the faults remain um, in the Earth's crust. The slow movement of the continent can cause adjustments and stress within the crust, leading to earthquakes. These earthquakes tend to be smaller in magnitude compared to those along uh, plate boundaries, but can still be felt across and different areas and cause damage. Human activity, such as mining, reservoir-induced seismicity from the weight of the water, due to large dams and wastewater injection from oil and gas can also contribute to the earthquakes in Missouri. For example, the disposal of wastewater into, into deep underground wells can increase pressure on faults, causing them to slip and generate earthquakes. I'll give you a link down below um, in the more information box. This is all the gas and oil wells there in the state of Missouri. Yeah, look at that. Most of them are along the west side of the state, but we do have a cluster of areas there in St. Louis, in Columbia, um, up north near Kurtzville, it looks like. And then we'll come down south. Um, I don't know, I can't read that. Let me see what that is. Let's see. Oop, wrong area. Oh, there's the city of Nevada. Um, not to be mistaken for the state of Nevada. Okay. Um, Springfield. And Park Hill. Etc. Oh, Popular Bluff also. Okay. I also have a link for you. You might be interested in this. This here is a map from 2020. And it's for hazardous substance investigation cleanup sites. And if I click this little triangle, yeah, these are all, um, I don't know if they're super fun, but these are all um, hazardous waste sites that need to be cleaned up there in the state of Missouri. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, let me zoom in. I don't know if I can zoom in. It'll show you. Yeah, St. Louis. Um, and we'll come back out. That's a large area that has uh, areas of contamination. And then close to, um, what is this? Independence? Yeah. Independence. And 
um, Kansas City. I bet you didn't know that you had so many cleanup sites that were required there in the state of Missouri. Look at that. Amazing. Anyways, if you found this helpful, you found it inf informational, please um, like, share, and subscribe. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.